Rudolf Vierhaus. Rudolf Vierhaus, 29 October 1922, 13 November 2011, was a German historian who mainly researched the early modern period. He had been a professor at the newly founded Ruhr University Bochum since 1964. From 1971, he was director of the Max Planck Institute for Gestichte in Göttingen. He became known for his research on the Age of Enlightenment. Life Born in Juan Eichel, the son of a coal miner was the first of his family to attend the Oberielschule and passed his abiture in 1941. In the same year, he was called up for military service. As a lieutenant, he was seriously wounded in the battle with American troops at the Mosul in autumn 1944. Vierhaus was captured in Marburg the following year. He spent the following years in military hospitals and clinics. It was not until 1949 that his state of health was reasonably restored. From 1949 he studied history and philosophy at the Westphalist Wilhelms Universität. His academic teachers were Kurt von Romer, Herbert Grundmann, and Joachim Ritter. Vierhaus was also influenced by Werner Kinze and his study group for social history. In 1955, Vierhaus received his doctorate under Romer on the topic rank on Dysosial Welt. His habilitation was awarded in 1961 on Deutschland im Zeitalter der Aufklärung and Tersechungen zur Deutschen Sozialgeschichte im Zeitalter der Aufklärung. The thesis remained unpublished. His most important trains of thought were published in Essays in 1965 and 1985, which in turn were published in 1987 in the anthology Deutschland im 18. Jarendert Politist Verfischung Sozials Jefuge, J. Steig B. From 1961, Vierhaus was a private lecturer in Munster. Several substitute professorships followed. While filling the chair of Franz Schnabel in Munich, he received appointments to Frankfurt and Bochum. In 1964, Vierhaus became the first historian to be appointed full professor at the newly founded Ruhr University at Bochum. In 1966-67, he taught as a visiting professor at the St. Anthony's College, Oxford. He declined an appointment to the University of Munster. Since 1968, Vierhaus has been a part-time co-director of the Max Planck Institute for History in Göttingen, and from 1971, alongside Joseph Fleckenstein, director of the Institute. There he provided fresh impetus for the raising of standards at for the Institute and for the study of history in Germany. One aspect of this was his policy of recruiting foreign academics to fill vacancies at the Institute. As director at the institution, Vierhaus also played a major role in supporting the establishment of a mission historique Frankes and a Le Magne in Göttingen 1977 minus 2009. Vierhaus held honorary professorships at the Ruhr University Bochum and at the University of Göttingen. He retired in 1990 after which he supported the integration of East German historical studies. From 1990 to 1997, he was the founding chairman of the Deutsche Tischekisch Historiker Commission. Vierhaus starb in November 2011 im Alter von 89 Jahren in Berlin. Sein Grab befind it sich auf dem Evangelischer Kirchhoff Nikolasi. Vierhaus died in Berlin at the age of 99. Work Vierhaus areas of research were modern history, especially comparative social, constitutional idea, scientific, educational, and cultural history since the early modern period. In his early years, he was particularly concerned with the history of the 19th century, at times also with the German and European development of the early 20th century. In 1960, the edition of the Diary of Hildegard von Spitzenberg appeared in the series of German historical sources of the 19th and 20th century. In the 1970s, he increasingly focused on the history of the 17th and 18th centuries. This resulted in the authoritative overall depictions Deutschland im Zeitalter des Absolutismus 1978 and, as part of the Propylene Gestich Deutschlands, the Staten Unstand 1984. His studies of the German and European Enlightenment were decisive. 
Vierhaus pleads for a new cultural history, which he sees as an extension of social history. As a methodological foundation, he recommends the reconstruction of historical life worlds, which he describes in his essay Die Reconstruction Historischer Lebenswelten. Problems of Modern Cultural Historiography. His main works also include the essay collection Deutschland im 18. Jarundert. Politist Verfischung. Sozial's Jefuge. J. Steig B. Gottingen, 1987, as well as his collected contributions to the history of the 19th and 20th century, which were published on the occasion of his 80th birthday under the title Vergingen Heit als Gestichtgottingen, 2003. Vierhaus was editor of the Deutsch Biographische Enzyklopädie from its fourth volume on. After his retirement, his main areas of research were the history of education, the history of religion, especially the social history of the churches, piety and religious behavior, and the history of science. As an academic teacher, Beerhouse supervised works from the late Middle Ages to post-war history. This led to fundamental studies on the concept of freedom in the 18th century Georgian Schlumboum, on the understanding of humanity and humanity in the late Enlightenment Hans Erich Bodker, on the emergence of the concept of absolutism Reinhard Blankner, and on the ideology des Deutschen, which is in the historiography of the interwar period burned fallen batch. Another student of Vierhaus is Horst de Pell. Vierhaus has been awarded numerous scientific honors and memberships for his research. In 1964, he became a full member, and in 2006 a corresponding member of the Historical Commission for Westphalia. Biographical information on the pages of the Historical Commission for Westphalia, he was a member of the Historical Commission for Lower Saxony and Bremen, and since 1985 a full member of the Akademie der Wissenschaft. Chafte. Vafte. 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 Federal President Richard von Wiesacker honored Vierhaus on 23 May 1986 in bond with the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany. Also in 1986, Vierhaus was awarded the Prix Alexander von Humboldt pour la coopération scientifique franco allemande In 1988, he was awarded the Lower Saxony Order of Merit First Class. The Hebrew University of Jerusalem made him an honorary fellow in 1990. The Kamalist Pontifical University awarded Vierhaus the Primer Socio de Honor in 1991. In 1992, he was awarded an honorary doctorate by the Laurent Iakvos University. The president of the Czech Republic, Vaclav Havel, awarded him the Medal of Merit Czech Republic in Prague in 1998. Also in 1998, he was awarded the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany. Festschrifts were dedicated to him on his 60th, 70th, and 80th birthday. The Ruhr Universität Bochum honored Vierhaus in 2012 with a symposium gestured als Erfahrung und Gedutit Vergingen Heit. Publications Monographs Rank und die Sozial Welt Dis Phil Munster 1957 New Munsters Beatrice Zur Forschung, Vol. 1, Munster 1957 Deutschland im 18 Jarundert Politist Verfischung Sozials Jefuge J. Steig Bewegungen Ostuald Aufsatzi Gottingen, 1987, ISBN 3-525-36216-1. Deutschland im Zeitalter des Absolutismus, 1648-1763. Second edition. Vanden Hoek in Ruprecht, Gottingen, 1984, ISBN 3-525-33540. Staten und Stand. Vom Westfalischen bis zum Hubertusberger Frieden 1648 bis 1763 Propylene Gestich Deutschlands, Vol. 5. Berlin 1984, ISBN 3-549-5815-2. As editor, Deutsch Biographische Enzyklopädie from Vol. Roman 4. Fruh Newsite Fruh Modern. Forstungen zur Wielschichtigkeit von Übergangsprozessen. Gottingen, 1992, 
ISBN 3 minus 525 minus 35,641 minus 2. With Gerhard A. Ritter, Aspect der Historischen Forschung in Frankreich und Deutschland. Schwerpunkt und Methoden equals Aspects de la Recherche Historique in France et en la Magne. Gottingen 1981, ISBN 3 minus 525 minus 35,000. 383-9. Berger und Bürgerlich geht im Zeitalter der Aufklärung. Heidelberg, 1981. Das Tage der Baron in Spitzenberg. Jeb. Freyen von Warnbühler. Aufzeichnungen aus der Hofgesellschaft des Hohenzollernreiches. Uich gestich squellen des 19. Und 20 Jarunderts Ball 43. Gottingen, 1960. Rudolf Wehrhaus. Ludolf Herbsted, Bruno John Mitarb, Biographisches Handbuch der Mitglieder des Deutschen Bundesstages, 1949-2002. K.G. Soar, Munich 2002-2003. Vol. 1 A.M. 2002, ISBN 978-3-598-23782-9. And ISBN 3 minus 598 minus 23,782 0. Vorschau. Vol. 2 and Z. And Z. Z. And Hang. 2003. ISBN 978 minus 3 minus 598 minus 23,782 minus 9. And ISBN 3 minus 598 minus 23,000. 7820. Vol. 3. Citefel Ausschuss. ISBN 978 minus 3 minus 598 minus 23,000. 783 minus 6 and ISBN 3 minus 598 minus 23,000. 783 minus 9. Der Adelvor der Revolution zur Sozialen und Politischen Funktion des Adels im Revolutionär in Europa.